Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to use CK Editor in ASP.NET Core and how to use CK Editor image in ASP.NET Core and upload this image in the folder and also save this data into the database table. So what should I do and uh, how to uh, use CK Editor. So here is a CK Editor you can say and when we click on the image button then you can see that a pop-up will appear like image properties. Here we have a image info where the image URL is exist. And also uh, you have a upload uh, uh, tabs in the image properties. You can see that uh, choose files from your server. I mean to say that your, uh, uh, your computer. Okay. So here we have a lots of files. Just I want to pick any one file from there and just uh, I want to pick uh, like that and anyone okay so this is the file selected okay now okay so uh, this file is selected so here we have a, a file is selected dot icon dot png and send it to the server just click on it and you can say that the path is upload this is icon dot png is there you can see so uh, where your images exist actually so just click on the browse server and you can say that your file will be saved it here so just click on it and your url is there now click on ok button and your 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 file is there after uh, putting some text like uh, hello world my YouTube channel name is ASP.NET Core and just just I'm writing oops just I'm writing about my vlog okay so there is a uh, term just i want to uh, set the image also and just when we click on the uh, create button then your file will be uh, hit uh, on that uh, action method so here we have just click on the create button and you will see that in the vm what is the vm and here you can say that description is looking like that where your image is upload this is the uh, dot icon dot png is there and ID is 0 and title is null because uh, nothing is in the title. Okay, so uh, you can say that uh, your image is also. So, how to use CK editor in ESP.NET Core? So, just type in the Google first of all and just like CK editor for uh, download. And you, here you can say that latest version pre-releases. So just click on the CK Editor 4 pre-releases button. And here you can say that uh, CK Editor 4 is download. So here we have a list of pre-releases like CK Editor 4.2.0, 2.2. And here we have a list of uh, CK Editors. Just I'm using the lowest version of the CK Editor. And you can use any one from this. Okay, so uh, just download it like CK Editor 4.2.2 and extract your file like that uh, so here we have a 4.6 editor so just uh, extract it and unzip your file ck editor just copy that folder or you can say that 4.612 and just copy that folder and paste under your ww root folder so here we have a ww root folder there is the ck editor folder okay so under the ck editor folder here we have a list of folders and the files you can see okay so uh, just I'm using um, a file in the home controller that is a home controller and here we have a create action method looking like that create action method in the create action method here we have a test view model and just go for the test model go to definition so here in the test id title and the description okay 
so uh, just pass that uh, test to the view so the create.css html looking like that so here we have a auto uh, or you can say the scaffold generated uh, create section id is there title is there and description is there if you are using id if you are using create method then there is a no need to add id in the create action method oops continue editing so title is there so just to stop it first of all so title and description is there and description here we have a text area you can see that in the description so if the description is bind for the asp4 that means id name and the value will be passed that is the description okay so uh, here we have in the script section say a section scripts the script uh, so here you can say that uh, section scripts and here we have a ck editor there is the actually exist in the ww root folder that is the ck editor and here we have ck editor.ps file ck editor.ps file so just when we uh, document.load that is the document.ready functions with uh, just calling that function function and ck editor dot replace uh, that is the description and description is actually there in that that uh, file and you can say that the height of the ck editor is the 300 and width is 700 okay so so just open that url again okay so when we click that is the that property file browse upload url and what is this when we click on image then here we have a pop-up model pop-up is there and when we click on the upload so choose file first of all like that any one file from uh, there so just i uh, just i select categories.png and when we click on send it to the server so when we click on send it to the server that file browse upload url will call that url for home upload image so when we click on it send it to the server then that url will call home upload image and that is actually exist in home controller and upload image is the action name so just when we uh, debug that point and just click on it when we click on it you can see that upload have a image that is categories.png now after save this file looking like that file name path stream and copy that file into that stream mentioned it the iphone file have a upload name that is the predefined name in the ck editor so just should take that name instead of other names okay so upload dot file name web host environment dot web root path file name path file mode dot create stream okay so everything is fine after save this file now you can say that okay so now you are save its file in uploads folder so you can check so here we have a lots of file and your file will be saved after return new json result new path and this is the path that is the file okay so continue this and return the path variable looking like that okay okay so now uh, when we uh, click to send to the server that path will be written now after this you can see that here we have a list of directories and what is the directories when we click on the browse server then that method will call file browse browse url a home upload explorer so just click on it and here we have upload explorer file is there okay so home upload explorer in the home upload explorer where just get the directory info use the directory info to get all uh, files in the current directory and the current directory is uploads so just i uh, just i want to pick all these image files in the dir 
dir.getFiles and just use dir.get files on the view back and just return the view file explorer dot cshtml so uh, here we have a view only file explorer dot cshtml in the file explorer dot cshtml here we have a code that is the id's browse file and view back object have a, a lots of files so view back dot file info one by one iterate this and save on the image and display on it the image so uploads item dot name one by one item dot name and item dot name now section in the section script dot uh, uh, section descripts here we have again we use uh, seek editor document dot ready when the dom is ready just get the function uh, number so seek editor function number that is context dot request dot query and when we click on the any image that is the browse file dot on click image then get the file url first of all after upload this i mean to say that when we click on any image so here we have a object that is this so attribute title and where is the title title is item dot name so file url is there now after that window dot opener seek editor dot tools dot call function function number dot file url window dot close how uh, h over that is this dot css cursor and the pointer okay so that file will uh, explorer is open and when we click on any your mouse cursor will be a hand shape you can see that and your file url and popper will be close but your call function function number and file url is actually copied into that url section and your image file will be displayed at here if you want to save like a v space 10 and h space is 10 so here we have border is 1 so there is the border alignment is not set so left is aligned i mean to say that text okay so just save this so here we have an image okay so just also click it and width is 200 so there is and this is the tight text so just copy and paste it here okay and the title is uh, demo title okay and when we click on the create button then you will see that image and the text will appear at the vm so here we have image and this is the title and you save this um, the whole description and the title in the database table so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core